Morning everyone, Silver Army 79 here. Um, it's just on my way out, I've decided to go and uh, head to a car boot sale. I'm going to try and see if I can pick up some silver. Um, so, so far to date I haven't been able to find any. Sadly the silver in Ireland uh, was pretty much discontinued out of normal circulation in about the early the early 40s, with only the higher values, um, basically in, in a higher content of silver, where the other ones were cupro nickel. So it's extremely hard to, to try and get um, early silver. Also, a lot of people know about it, so they're obviously, you know, the prices are quite high. So we're going to try and head to this market. It's in a place called Athoy, here in Ireland. And we're going to try and see if we can find some silver. Hey everyone, uh, just arrived here at the car boot sale. Um, we're going to go and uh, take a look at some things now. Let's hopefully we've managed to find some silver. Uh, I'm excited. There's, there's not much here, obviously. The, the weather, the sun's starting to come out, so hopefully it'll get a little bit more busier. But I'll show you guys uh, the sort of stuff that we're looking for. Hey everyone, yeah, I just finished up there in the market. Sadly, there's nothing. <laughs> there's no silver. Um, I didn't I didn't fill the market because really it's a waste of time. There wasn't much there, so pretty much travelled 15 minutes for like no reason whatsoever. But um, I'm going to try and see if I can find another place. We'll stop there, see if we can uh, hopefully find some silver. But like, like I said, it's like they're flipping unicorn <laughs> looking for this stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll chat, I'll, chat, I'll chat to you later. Hey everyone, uh, it's Silver Limey here. Um, I've just, uh, I've tried my absolute best to try and uh, try and locate some silver today. I haven't had much luck. Um, I did go to a store last weekend, and he had a couple of interesting pieces. Uh, that's where I've stopped now. So I'm going to go and take a look and see if I can negotiate um, some pricing. And I know he had a couple of Kennedy half dollars, and uh, there was also an Ike dollar there, but apparently that isn't silver. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and go in there now, negotiate some silver, see if I can get it at a good price. Hey guys, uh, I just came out of the shop there and managed to get a couple of silver pieces. Again, uh, I thought he had two um, John F. Kedney pieces, but um, he only had one, and it was with uh, it was with a blister pack of a few bits. Um, I did, however, find this nickel. Um, it's a buffalo nickel. Uh, that was that was in with some Canadian coins, so I asked him if I could have that on its own. Uh, and then he actually just gave it to me, so cool. There's no, it's an extremely well used nickel. Um, and I, I managed to get this um, John F. Kelly 40% um, half dollar 1969 Denver Denver Mint, uh, which I'm quite happy about. Well, I managed to get some silver today anyway. Um, and then I uh, picked up uh, this Ike uh, one dollar. Oh, there's no uh, there's no silver in it as such, but it obviously has uh, some kind of collectible value. So it's the first of those dollars uh, to be minted. I think that's quite nice. So I've got a few extra bits and pieces. Nothing nothing too major. Mainly some quarters, some US uh, US spending money. So I'm gonna obviously well, when I get back in, I'll do another video video there, and then we can take a look at it. Hi everyone. Um, obviously back at the uh, back at the ranch here. I just want to go through the uh, the bits and pieces I got. Uh, this is the um, Eisenhower one dollar. Um, seems to be in fairly good nick. It seems that you'd find this in in Ireland of all places. Obviously someone must have gone over there, collected this up, and then handed it in at one of the at that uh, antique place, or he just happened to get it. But um, it seems in fairly good nick. I'm not sure what the uh, the price on something like this would be. Probably five to ten dollars, something like that. Uh, obviously, this is the nickel. Obviously, that's undated and badly worn. Uh, I think these were 30, 1913 to 38 or something like that. I think these were these were minted. I'm not too familiar with the uh, with the American coinage. Um, and then I picked up this whole lot here for for ten for ten euro. And uh, obviously, I saw the 69 Kennedy in there, and I was like, that is silver. Um, funny enough, he had he had a 74 um, in one of these um, in one of these here, uh, and he was selling that for 10 euro. And I thought we'll get this whole lot for 10 euro. I mean, I probably paid over the odds for it, but I don't know. Look, the uh, the melt value in this, I think it's just over two dollars worth, two dollars fifty worth. Uh, it looks very nice. Um, it's yeah, Denver. At least I think it is there. Yeah, 69 Denver. I'm pleased with that. There's just a few other bits in here as well. I, I saw the 79 one dollar, and I was thinking, I'm sure this is collectible. Um, and I had a look online. Yeah, the uh, I think there was a particular mint uh, or particular, um, I think Philadelphia one. This is a this is a S. 
Uh, there's the S Mint there. So at, if it was a P, it'd be worth a lot more. $10 or so. This is probably worth about $2. So again, nice find. And of course, it's 79 as well. That's fantastic. And then I've, there's a whole bunch of uh, other bits and pieces. Uh, there's quarters. Nothing really of um, uh, silver value. There's uh, there's one, two, there's four four quarters. That that's a dollar, um, just in change. And there's uh, there's a we call it a Lincoln cent here as well. I think that's what 2002 or something like that as well. Like so, the rest of it not really of of any particular value. Um, I'll go over these with you anyway. Maybe someone might go, wow, that was and that's actually worth a bit of money. But there's a 97, uh, 97 nickel. There's some dimes here as well. 85 Denver yeah so you know I suppose it wasn't too bad I, I did I did travel a fair bit though but I, at least in the end um, I got something of, uh, of, of value out of it uh, thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed the video it's my first sort of uh, excursion video let me know what you think in the comments like the video um, if this is your first uh, your first visit hit the subscribe button um, I vary my content, um, so I include coins, uh, proof sets, uh, banknotes, um, stuff really of um, historical value. I'll also mention in, in particular historical points related to the items. So again, thank you very much for watching and uh, leave, your, leave your comments there. Like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much.